ever thought that you wish you could send a very nice and cool email to your friends and family? You know, all those fancy graphics so that when your friend open their email, they see a nice graphic, nice font, nice background. Well, what I'm talking about is actually something that you can do online from a lot of different features that you can get on the internet. But what I want to show you is that on a Mac, in Apple Mail itself, it can use a feature called stationaries that will actually brighten up and make your emails look fresh for birthdays or invitation and so much more. So instead of talking about it, let me show you. Let's get started. Welcome to my desktop. I'm running the latest version of Mac OS Sierra 10.12. As with all my previous video, I'll be using a few teaching aids. For example, whenever I click on the screen, you'll see feedback. Also, if I need to focus your attention, I will zoom in and zoom out on the screen. And that leads to Apple Mail. So stationary is a very cool way of giving nice and beautiful emails instead of just plain email. For example, I'm going to be writing an email to a friend. I want to say happy birthday. And uh, it's kind of plain right now. So how, what can I do to make it much more nicer? This is where we're going to activate the stationary option. On the upper right corner of each of the messages window that you open, you'll notice that there's something called show or hide the stationary pane. Click on that and you'll activate the stationary option. You will notice that I got a lot of different options here. From birthdays, I can choose GIF and immediately my email is rendered with beautiful HTML graphics. I just need to change the name. Let's say I put the name Kant and I uh, with the invitation. And when you send it, the recipient will see it just the way it is. No plugin required, no special viewing required. They view it the way it is. So you can see there's a lot of options. Like for example here, I want to put an image inside there. It's just a simple matter of finding the image you want and dragging it and dropping it inside. As simple as that. If you change it to another template with the image, you'll try to preserve it. So it's a very, very cool way of actually applying very beautiful templates. But it's not only just for birthday. It could be lunch, dinner, dinner party, picnic, other things, even photo. So this is a photo plugin, a tag box, doodles, vacation. You can drag multiple photos, image, make it look like a very nice postcard. It can even be plain stationary. There's lots of different templates here, even a sticky note perhaps. It could be sentimental. Valentine's Day card, use this. Okay, this is not really appropriate photo, but the point is still made. So try out stationary built into macOS Sierra in the mail application. It's a very cool way of putting something extra in your email that you send out to your friends or family members. I hope that this tips and tricks video helped you. Thank you all so much for watching. Please support us on social media. Like us and follow us or subscribe to us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, so on and so forth. Uh, give us some comments and suggestions of what you want to see next. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, this is Ken from Switch saying goodbye.